not everything is as obvious as it seems. It's surprising how many things we take for granted actually hide another, much easier way to use it. And the moment we discover it, we find ourselves in a state of shock and feel joy at the same time, as our daily life becomes much more convenient. Then do you want to know the things you may be doing wrong in your daily life? Make yourself comfortable, and let's discover together the 20 things you've done wrong all your life. Do you hate peeling mangoes too? Because we understand you. That's precisely why we'll give you the unstoppable trick, so you don't have to end up with slimy fingers and juice to the deep. Start by cutting your fruit lengthwise, trying to brush as close as possible to the stone, to leave as little flesh as possible on it. Note that the mango stone is in the narrowest part of the fruit, so try to cut around it. Then take a water glass that is solid, thick, and with fairly thin rims. Place your piece of mango on the rim of the glass and gently press it down to slide the fruit and separate the flesh from the skin. And the fruit will end up in your bowl without getting dirty. Now, who's going to make a good fruit salad? Be careful with this trick that you must absolutely show to your grandmother, who by the way, spent her whole life believing that the drawer under her oven was a place to store pots and pans. Well, not at all. If you or your grandmother are lucky enough to own a stove with an oven, you must surely have that famous drawer at the bottom. Well actually, this drawer has a name and it's called, the warming drawer. Is used to keep baked dishes warm while others are still cooking. In fact, you will notice that after using the oven, your pots and pans stored in it are hot. Stay there. Before going to check, let's go to the other tips first. When you go to a fast food restaurant and order a drink, it's usually served in a cardboard cup with a plastic lid, right? Have you ever wondered why your drink was covered when it was cold, especially if you were going to drink it on the spot? You were probably too focused on your burger to think about it. Well, we tell you everything. The lid is actually a coaster. If you look closely, it has three small bumps on each side and hollows that actually correspond to the size of the cup. Once put on, it is blocked and held in place. And because your drink is cold, the water on the outside of your cup must be dripping. You understand better now. As Mowgli sang in, it doesn't take much to be happy, picking a banana is no trick, okay, no, but peeling it is. Shall we show you? No need to twist this poor banana to peel it, there's a better trick. Just turn it over. Pinch the end, and you'll notice that it splits in two, and the rest is easy, no need to explain. The irony of fate. Now it's the Japanese teaching the Americans how to eat a burger. One of the most annoying things about going to a fast food restaurant, other than waiting too long for your menu to arrive, is biting into your burger and seeing all the sauce dripping off, followed by tomatoes and pickles that end up either in your tray or if you're unlucky in your shirt. Well, you won't have to worry anymore since our Japanese friends have found a technique to master this damn sandwich. They recommend holding the burger with both hands, placing the thumbs and little fingers underneath and the rest of the fingers on top. This will ensure that the ingredients are held firmly between the fingers, as the fingers will have exerted uniform pressure on the sandwich. Then you can bite down on the burger. A surprise guests. No cold drink to serve. Don't panic. We have the solution. Just take some paper towels, put them under the faucet to absorb the water, and cover your entire bottle before putting it in the fridge. That way, your drink will get cold in no time. But for that, your bottle should preferably be made of glass. You're very welcome. If you've ever tried to make a juice and your blender didn't mix your fruit, it's probably because you didn't do it right. The secret lies in the order in which the ingredients enter the bowl. You will notice that the blades of the grinder cannot grind if there is no liquid, otherwise, they would rotate in a vacuum. Liquids help the blades rotate smoothly, without being blocked by solid or frozen ingredients. So, you need to start by inserting your liquid first, then your solid foods from the smallest to the largest. As for hard foods, such as ice cubes, for example, it is best to leave them at the end. Who's the king of gazpacho now? Are you tired of going on about that poor ketchup bottle, who swore not to serve you a drop? Well, that's because you're doing it wrong. Next time you make a plate of fries, remember to hold the ketchup bottle slightly at an angle, not vertically as you used to do. And instead of shaking it vigorously, just tap it on the top, and you'll see, it won't be a rebel this time. It's all about softness. If you're tired of your computer's wire coming loose once you pull it a little, then this trick is going to please you a lot. Before connecting the extension cord to your device, tie a knot in the two plugs. That way, if you happen to move away, your computer won't let go of the plug. Tired of spending thousands and hundreds to maintain your long hair? 
That's why today we're going to give you a trick to keep it healthy, and smile, it's free. One of the countless missteps we make with our hair is to comb our mane starting at the root and working down. But be aware, ladies, that this only makes the situation worse since the knots, instead of coming undone, only accumulate at the bottom of your hair. This means that you put more force on the tips, which in the end, all end up broken and stuck in your comb. Not only does the hair stay tangled, but it's even worse than before. Instead, start by combing at the ends of the hair, then work your way up to the mid-length before combing from the roots. Thanks to whom? If you're a big coffee lover, you'll know that the bag of sugar served to you on a terrace doesn't open at the end. To prevent the sugar from spilling all over the table, the sachet must open in the middle, and do this, it must be torn in half towards the middle. This way the sugar will go directly into your coffee without you putting sugar everywhere. You're probably one of those people who don't pour their milk or juice in a carton. You pour your milk by placing the spout down so that it is as close as possible to your bowl. Except you still put it everywhere, don't you? Those who really know how to do it, pour the milk by placing the spout of the brick upwards. The liquid then pours into the glass without splashing. We love pomegranates. They are fresh, juicy, sweet but at the same time so difficult to peel. Do you know why? Well simply because we have never peeled pomegranates properly. The truth is, there is an unstoppable technique to overcome this fruit. Start by removing the ends of the pomegranate, then crack the sides with a sharp knife. On top of a container, slightly separate all the sides, but do not separate them from each other. Turn the fruit over, then using a spatula or stick, tap lightly on it. You will see that as if by magic, all the seeds will start to rain. After a few seconds, your pomegranate will be emptied and all you have to do is enjoy it. Yes, I know, it's revolutionary. The cold pizza of the next day is never pleasant to eat, but when you have no choice and you're hungry, you have to know how to make it soft. And the good news is, all you'll need on board is a microwave and a glass of water. Normally when you reheat a pizza in the microwave, it comes out very hard, but if you insert a glass of water in the microwave beforehand, the steam from the water will make the pizza come out softer, perhaps softer than the day before. Think about it. Careful, girls. Today we're going to break a myth. If you're going to be out with four pins, you need to know how to put them on properly. Many people rely on the small waves of the clips to look nice on the hair, but we're sorry to tell you that the wavy side goes underneath the strands, as the small waves help hold the hair in place. The smooth part of the hair clips is therefore the one that goes on top, on the visible side. We know how hard it is to conceive, especially since we've been making mistakes for years. But nowadays the world is turning upside down, so ladies, turn your hair clips upside down. You've probably already used a peeler or vegetable peeler. And if you're a normal person, you use it by sliding the tool from top to bottom, and starting over until the vegetable is completely peeled. Well, let us show you an even better technique, and you'll thank us later. Well, just slide the peeler from top to bottom and then from bottom to top, and repeat until the vegetable is completely peeled. If you look closely, the peeler actually has two blades, one at the top and one at the bottom, so it can be used in either direction. Now that's a quick and efficient trick. If you've always wondered why potato chips are sold in strange kinds of bags, then we have the answer. These bags are specially made to be used as containers for your chips. No, it's not a joke, look, to make a container, you have to carefully open your packet, fold the edges inside, and then push the chips up by pushing them from underneath the bag. In this way, the chip package stands upright and becomes a container. Practical and economical. And that's when you wonder how you didn't think of it before. So surprised, it's normal. We were as surprised as you were. Which of these things surprised you the most? Did you know at least one of them? Tell us in the comments.